What's up, guys? Stamp and uh, pre request. I am uploading some new Fishing Planet videos, and uh, we're going to start with an update to one of my videos that I've already posted about catching unique, readier uh, sunfish. Um, so, this is in North Carolina. This is in a little place, uh, the little area called Into the Rocky Blue. And uh, I'll post in the description the, the times that you can catch these, but they are time specific. And I'll post in there the, um, you know, the setup that I'm using, but I'll go over that in a second. I, I can kind of show you. You'll see in here shortly what I'm using. But what we do, the reason why this is a viable strategy is it's it's solid XP through level 16. And the other thing is it's an easy way to farm gold. Now, it doesn't require gold, but it using the gold bait that you see in the top right is a lot better option than using the um, uh, wax worms, which is the other option to use. So you'll see me in the video using crawfish cut, uh, a number one hook, but you can also use wax worms. You just don't catch as many uh, uniques that way in my opinion so if you're doing this at a lower level and you only have access to the wax worms do it until you can get to the crawfish cut and then it's worth the investment so you'll see on my screen when I show you guys the inventory how much gold I have so this is a pretty good option to farm some gold currently this is August 16th in 2016 when I'm recording this so currently it still works and it has worked for a long time uh, some of the spots tend to change but um, it does work to be able to farm some gold. So a lot of the unique fishing is RNG based. So I'll go ahead and cover that right now because some people are saying that it can't be done or they're doing it and they're not getting them. I mean, I find that uniques tend to come in bunches, um, but the more trophies you're catching, in my opinion, if you're in the right time slot, the more likely you are that you'll, you'll get a unique. So we're at Into the Rocky Blue. The rod and reel, as you guys know, it doesn't really matter but I'll show it to you. Um, one major misconception with um, unique fishing is that the rod and reel matter. They really don't matter. They just tend to make it um, easier and or more difficult to land if you're trying to land some of the bigger fish or smaller fish. Um, as you can see there, we got a unique pretty quickly on stream. Um, the setup we're using, I'll show you in a second, but uh, the XP is 49, which is pretty solid. Um, even the trophies tend to produce anywhere, I don't know, probably between 36 and and probably 40 on the, on the higher end. So it's a pretty good way to level that's really consistent if you just needed a break from the bobber fishing. So, or need a break from lure fishing. So, um, in a couple seconds here, I'll go to my inventory and show you what that looks like. But, um... Keep in mind, one of the things I'd recommend when you're doing this strategy is when we look at the inventory here, one of the things I'll show you is make sure that you're using the right hook depth or the right leader depth, which I'm using 80 inches, which I think is like 200 plus centimeters. Um, like in looking at 200 plus centimeters, if you're not getting a bite, change it one or two centimeters or inches around. Um, we're using a number one hook, the chubby bobber. Um, we're using the floral carbon. This is, I believe it's six pound that's down there. It's kind of hard to see. 0 0.008 inches is what it is. You can see the leader depth is at 80 inches. Um, crawfish cut, obviously number one hook, chubby. And then the rod and reel really don't matter, but I'm using the Troy 23 foot uh, telescoping rod. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. That's the basics of the setup. So the spots, you can see where I'm casting right on the right side of that rock. You can also get them to the rock on my right, where, right where my wrist is there. Um, you can throw there and allow it to drift. When it gets to the bushes on the right is when I'd really pick up and I, I wouldn't continue to fish there. Um, i just reel it in. But you want to be between 20 and 30 feet out when you are casting. So, um, you know, somewhere between probably eight... I guess I would say six to ten meters if you're a Euro bro that's watching this. So about six to ten meters out is all the farther you want to be out. Um, I didn't really get a lot of bites outside of 30 inches. 
Um, you will need to be patient because they do take a while to bite sometimes. You can tell on stream it's sometimes a three to four minutes in between fish or longer. Um, but I will say that this is a very efficient way to get both gold and XP and to level all at the same time. So I think it's an awesome way to level. It's, this particular one is not really... You don't have to work so hard. Some some of the fish, like some of the bass, the peacocks, the largemouth, you've really got to work hard and, and cast a lot. This way, you just have to be patient and kind of wait to, uh, you know, set your hook. Um, I will say that when you're doing this method, you will go through some dry spells, and to expect that, um, if you are somebody who is money dependent, or that's your bottleneck, is your money. You probably want to fish for trophy um, flathead catfish or just flathead catfish in between the times because you don't want to waste a whole day because if it's um, a certain day, you may not be able to, to spend a long time fishing for the unique red ears. And I'll post those, the sunny and cloudy times, in the description to kind of let you guys know. But um, this is viable really from 12 until whenever. At 12, I think, is when you get access to the crawfish cut. Um, and until you get access to, it might be 13, but I, I'm pretty sure it's 12. Um, until you get access to the crawfish cut, you want to use wax worms. So both of those should allow you to, um, catch the uniques, uh, just be patient. Um, but this does work. I confirmed it yesterday on stream. So you're seeing uniques from both time frames here. Um, this one you can tell took quite a bit longer to bite. Uh, they can take forever depending on. Just RNG really is, is what it seems to come down to. Um, but the reel and the rod don't matter. So this is something I'd recommend if you're even level 12. Um, I have around 500 gold now. So if you're level 12 and you start doing this, and this is one of the ways you're grinding, um, I think you'd be in a really good place to be able to buy some good gold tackle uh, rods and reels when it comes to... You know, you begin to get into 18 where tackle's really important when you want to tackle, or no pun intended, when you want to try and tackle the muskie and the lake sturgeon, um, or that trophy gar that gives you a ton of XP too. So it's it puts you in a good place to be ready for that. But um, that pretty much wraps it up, guys. I really appreciate your patience with the FP stuff. I was waiting a long time to come back and, and get, it, get back into the game. Uh, but I will be posting a lot more Fishing Planet content. You'll see it over the next... Um, really over the next week. So um, uh, with that, thank you very much for watching. As always, thanks for your patience. And uh, here's another unique. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Later.